Alright, so this video is going to be about the projection of you onto V. It's uh, one of the last topics in our vector section. And it has a lot of applications. We're going to look at a few of those. But before we get into all that, let's first look at how you find the projection of U onto V. So, the projection of U on V. So the notation for this is as follows. Here we have the projection of U on V. And it looks like this. We have it written that way, and it's equal to u dot v over the magnitude of v squared quantity times the vector of v. And so what we have here is a dot product which takes two vectors and through an operation uh, gives us a number, uh, a real number as a result. So it takes two vectors through the operation, the dot product, and gives us a number as a result. And here in the denominator, we're taking the magnitude of a vector, which we already know uh, is a real number, and that's being squared. And so we have a real number over a real number, and so of course this quantity here is a real number. And so we have this real number being multiplied by a vector, and this vector and the real number will when you're multiplying a real number by a vector, we actually we like to call it a scalar. And so this is a scalar, and we call it that because it's affecting the scale of this vector. Okay, so we have a scalar and we have a vector. So it, it stands that the projection of U on V is a vector itself. Okay. So let's go ahead and go through the process of uh, finding the projection of some u on v. Uh, let's make up an example here. Let's call u the vector that is negative 3, 4. And we're going to have vector v that is 2, uh, 3. That's what we'll do. Okay, well, the first thing we're going to need in order to find a projection of u on v is the dot product of u and v. And so the dot product of u and v, we want to find that, change colors here, we want to find this, and so we'll do that right here. The dot product of u and v. So the dot product of u and v, when we find this, we take first the horizontal component from both vector u and vector v. We multiply those together, okay, just so. And then we add that to the product of the vertical components of vector u and vector v. So we take the vertical components of vector u and vector 3, we multiply those together. And so this sum of two products, that is the dot product. Okay. And so this is going to be a negative 6, we have a plus 12, and the end result here is a positive 6. Okay. We can highlight that in green. This is our u dot v. All right, well, next, the next thing we're going to need is this magnitude of v squared, magnitude of v squared. So let's take that here, and well, let's first look at the magnitude of v. So the magnitude of v, here's our vector v. It's uh, 2, 3 for the components. When we take the magnitude of a vector, we take the square root of the components squared and added together. So we're going to take 2, or square that, and we're going to add it to 3 squared. Well, this is the magnitude of v, but we're looking for the magnitude of v squared. And so, if I come over here and I square this magnitude, and then I have to come over here and square this square root. And so, it's a very interesting thing that happens every single time you square a magnitude of a vector, you're going to end up canceling out this square root process. And so, 
we end up having just the magnitude of V squared is A, or the, the horizontal component, we called this A in our notes, uh, the horizontal component squared plus the vertical component squared. And so in this case we have a 2 squared 4, 3 squared 9, and uh, on most days that's equal to 13. By most days I mean all of them. All right, and so here we can highlight this magnitude of V squared in orange. Right, worked it right here, and, and there's our end result. Outstanding. So, the last thing we really need to identify here for our projection of U on V is, is this right here. Well, that one's easy. It was actually part of what was given to us. It's this entire vector right here. Remember, we had a real number divided by a real number and all of that being multiplied by a vector. And so that's all we have to do now. And it's, we have all of our parts for the projection of U on V. We just have to fill it in. The projection of U on V is equal to 6 divided by 13. And this quantity is being multiplied by a vector V, which is two, three, oh my goodness, I almost had a typo, All right, that vector two, three is vector V. And so here we know uh, in scalar multiplication for vectors, we're allowed to distribute this in. And so we're going to do exactly that. And so six by two, this is gonna give us a 12 over 13. And here, that's gonna give us 18 over 13, and neither of these reduce, and so we leave it just like that, and there you have it. The final answer, I'm dropping pencils, and the final answer is right here, the projection of U on V.